Hello friends, welcome to the 25 episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode, we have uh, prepared all the values when the chat is loaded. Like somebody click on the open chat, we are sending an Ajax request and we are retrieving the old 50 chats. That means old reset chats. So there is some problem, we will fix that problem. So let's write some chat. So chat 1. So chat 1 appear here. Now I am typing chat 2. So chat to appearing here, chat three. Okay. So now it's working that I have written this one after that this one after that this one. But when somebody came and I click on the open chat, now let's check what is happening. We are getting in the top side. Okay. But last message was chat three, so it should be here. And uh, one more thing, the three two one. So we have to change the order. So um, in the client side we can change the order like uh, let's create the uh, total it's more efficient um, and I is total um, so let's give minus one so here and uh, i will be greater than zero greater than equal to zero and i will minus minus so now let's check save and click on the open chat wait yeah now here you can see it's working fine so we have solved our problem so now uh, when somebody let's um, open this in another browser so we will see the problem okay so in the firefox we have also open and let's uh, he calls also can see that chat 1 chat 2 chat 3 now hi oh please log in before chat so we have to log in so just uh, we may also redirect we will uh, implement that later okay so let's log in first so log in with user 2 login so I have successfully logged in now I can send uh, this message so send so here user 2 writes hi so now if I go to here here we cannot see we have to manually refresh this page so if I refresh this page then we can see so we have to um, do this automatically so if somebody post the chat automatically we will prepend here so they can interact okay so for this reason um, we will modify our get recent chat this section so uh, how can we grab so at first we will uh, calculate the maximum chat id ok so here uh, wait it's too slow yeah so we will grab the maximum id that is uh, 91 so from the maximum id we will send uh, in the recent chat request the maximum id so whenever we are getting the message from this recent chat we will grab the where id greater than recent id so in this way we can grab the recent chats so let's implement this ok so let's declare a max value global variable so max max chat id equal to 0 ok so now um, whenever chat is prepending this function is calling ok so here we will check the id so um, for chat id equal to chat details dot id so let's parse into integer sorry P -R -C for int ok now if the chat chat id id is greater than maximum so max chat id equal to current one ok so we get this value so let's refresh this page uh, open the inspect uh, console panel so if I type so here I am getting the 91 now 
um, let's uh, use that to write something test okay so the ID will be changed test now um, um, if I uh, refresh this page and write max chat ID here I'm getting 92 now if I write here and if I max chat ID 93 okay um, so he also type something after that this user write something okay so now if I run the max uh, chat ID so it should be uh, 93 94 95 yes 95 so the max chat ID is working so we will send this max chat ID um, with the values uh, with the recent chat function okay so load recent chats uh, we will send the max chat ID so param dot max chat ID equal to max chat ID so now we will check this value in the server side so it may be at the f at first when it is sending it will be zero so in the here we will grab that ID so dollar max chat ID j request so get int this one if uh, this is not present so we will assign zero so now if this is present so we will create two queries so if the max chat ID is present greater than zero that means we need the all the chats after that chat ID okay so let's copy this query okay now uh, here we will put some condition so order by here where chat ID that is C dot ID is greater than max chat ID greater than max chat ID so in this way we can fetch so um, save this uh, and uh, also after certain time we will call this load recent chat function okay let's say um, in uh, within um, one second interval or uh, 500 millisecond interval so check recent chat okay so we will send um, uh, we will create an interval so set um, bar timer equal to set interval so the first uh, function is callback function so function here we will call our function and this is the interval how often so it's you said uh, you have to give in milliseconds so uh, in 500 milliseconds we will call this recent chat okay save this and um, let's start so here you can see let's clear all the console panel and refresh so here you can see all the request is going so now uh, the user 2 is writing uh, hi user 1 he writes something here you can see you can see all the message is coming and uh, hi user 2 how are you so if I send the Mozilla guy will see uh, cannot see because we have not refreshed this page so let's refresh this page because we have changed the in the JavaScript so let's hi so he sent hi he is getting the hi so he said hi user 2 how are you send and the mozilla guy he got hi user 2 how are you so everybody can um, interact 
so um, we have done um, almost our chat application uh, we will uh, so you can um, decrease the timer also yeah if I change this like 3000 so in 3 second so let's refresh this and we can see the time will take so he writes that user 1 writes to user 2 okay so hi user 2 so and also refresh this Mozilla page um, he sent to hi user 2 and now in Mozilla um, let's make this um, bigger so that 10 second no 5 second 6 save so refresh this page and also Mozilla so now user 1 will send a message um, hi user 2 so he sent this message but wow still he has not got the message now wait now he got that message so similarly if he sent this one here he still he has not got this message now after few seconds yes now he got this message so in this way many people can interact each other okay so thanks for watching uh, this tutorial and please uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any question or feedback just write comment below this video thank you